Hello everyone, my name is Elam Diva. Um, I saw this tag on TSQT75 channel. Uh, it's called Single Ladies. I told the tag it's very exciting and uh, I want to um, make this tag with my own, add uh, one of my own questions to it. She's got about five questions. I'm going to go ahead and add one more question. Okay, so we'll start. The first question is, why are you single? Hmm. I get this question all the time. Uh, I'm in my 30s. Yes, I know I don't look like it. <laughs> I'm in my 30s and uh, people who know me often ask me, Hello, why are you single? Why are you not married? Sometimes I find it a bit irritating, but other times uh, it gets me a bit depressed sometimes. But what I always tell them is, well, I'm not married because I'm not married yet. I have not found the right person yet. And besides, God's time is the best. It comes from above. And the same Bible also says that he who finds a wife find a good thing and shall obtain favor from God. He didn't say he who find a husband. So my husband is supposed to find me and obtain favor from God. So I'm not married. I'm single because I've not met anybody yet. <laughs> anybody in court. When was the last time you rejected someone and how? Hmm, this is very interesting. The last time I rejected someone or I turned down a proposal was for oh, three weeks ago. I met this mm, gentleman <laughs> who has been pestering me to go out with him, to go on a date with him. I, the first instant I saw him, I knew he was not the right person. I was not interested in him in any way, but he kept pestering me, he kept pushing, kept coming to my office. Oh, well, long just go out with me once, just have dinner with me, and after I'll go on a date with you. We went to, to dinner, and first of all, I found this young man very loud, very self centered. He, he, as soon as we went in, he grabbed a chair, quickly sat down, not caring whether I sat down or not. When dinner was finally served, he was eating like, uh, I'm sorry to use the word, like a pig, chewing so hard. And for me, those who know me know that I'm so particular about how people eat, especially how men eat. I just don't like men who chew anyhow, who, who make noise. With. I, I, I was just put off instantly. And the other thing that put me off so badly was, we were having a conversation and can you imagine what this guy did? We're talking and he just hit me hard like that. He just said something and just hit me like that. And I said, are you serious? Did you just hit me? And he said, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit you? I'm sorry. Oh, I just tapped you. You just tapped me. Oh, my God. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. In my house, we are, we are all boys. So each time we are... We having a conversation, we tend to hit each other. Like, you are hitting me, a lady. That was the second thing that put me off completely. Oh, <sighs> and the third one was that when he was dropping me back at home. On the way, I just pulled up my mirror to check if my face was okay. I mean, ladies, you understand, we do this often. As soon as I pull out my mirror, the guy went like, Hello, don't comb your hair in my car. I said, Excuse me? I should not comb my hair in your car. First of all, I was not even going to comb my hair. I was just going to look. That was said. I just had it up to my neck. I said, Hey, stop this car. Go down right there and there. I just couldn't take it anymore. What was that? Since then, I want to be with somebody who is Respects me, somebody who who love me, who cherish me, somebody who who look out for my interest first. Not a guy who who self centered, lousy, loud. What do I want to do with such a person? Anyway, so that was.
the last time I read I did summer and that was hashing as um what do you enjoy about being single? Hmm What do I enjoy about being single? I enjoy the fact that I don't have anybody controlling me, not have anybody watching over my shoulder, detecting what I do and what I don't do, telling me asking questions where are you what are you doing why why are you this what the why 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 i i just well oh. i guess i'm enjoying not having that why why thing in my life where i comb my hair and i have the time why not I don't have anybody sitting watching me to say why are you taking so long to get ready why are you taking so long to to make up and i think the worst one is uh, when I want to be at this place at this time, someone else says, Come be with me at this. Well, I enjoy that. I'm just enjoying the fact I don't have any of those wahalas in my life right now. Um, I, I love the way I'm free, I have the relationship I have with my God right now. The time that I would spend going out, sitting somewhere with any man, I stay in my room, sometimes meditate. Or just reflect on the past things that I've I've done, the places that I went wrong, and just all that. Enjoying myself right now. Goodness. What are they missing? Okay, this other question is, but I guess what she meant was that what are people missing by not being in a relationship with you right now? Oh, yes, they are missing a very sweet caught fearing lady down to a, a very caring very very caring very concerned about the other people's interest so they are missing a very homely lady yeah very versatile intelligent yes somebody who is not afraid to speak her mind as for that you can take it away from me right when I was a child my dad knew it I always speak my mind. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. It's not a threat at all, but I'm just bored. Just not afraid to express myself. So that's what well. the Mr. Right out there is missing. I know he's out there somewhere. At the right time, God will order his steps towards me. For it is written that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Yet so, I know. Because he said that as long as we put our trust in him he will never let us down he will never let us be prayed about a husband a god fearing husband and i know god has heard my prayers at the right time he's going to bring the right person my way so i'm not in a rush right the fifth question is what do you miss about being in a relationship hmm. Oh, what do I miss about being in a relationship? I guess sometimes I miss the company that you have when you're in a relationship. There are times in my life that I feel I wish there's somebody around that I could talk to, somebody I can cry on, I cry on his shoulders, somebody I can go out with, have fun, somebody I can share the things in my life but it's I know it's it's very interesting to be in love to know that there's somebody out there who cares about you who thinks about you who watch out for your interests so I miss all that yes I wish I have all that in my life but hey at the right time they are gonna come and the fifth the sixth question that I would like to ask add is well, would you marry anybody because you're single? The answer is no. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. And the fact that I'm in my 30s and the clock is ticking, ticking, doesn't mean any person who comes my way I should just jump into a relationship with a person. My younger sister used to say that um, it's not every creature that has the face of a man that is a man. 
pardon me, I didn't say it, my sister did. And I kind of agree with that in a way. The fact that I'm single and looking for a husband or something doesn't mean that any man that comes my way, I should jump into a relationship with that man. No. Important to find someone who share the same interest with you. If you don't have the same interest, that is a non-starter. Yes. If you have a man who tells you, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, it's always don't do, don't do, not considering what you like. For me, that is a non-starter. I will invent that. I want to be with someone who respects me, who will love me, who will like me for who I am, and who like the things that I like. Of course, I know there must be a compromise in the relationship, but not only when the person is thinking about they are pleasing anybody, I am not there to satisfy anybody. At the end of the day, it's me, not the families or, or my siblings who are putting pressure on me. It's me. It won't work out for me. It's a lifetime commitment. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. So, so that's it. That's about the tag, the single ladies tag. Ladies out there, all I want to say to us is that let's appreciate ourselves. Let's value ourselves for who we are. Let's not wait for any man to come to our life before we start appreciating ourselves. Whether you're single or whatever, just love yourself for who you are. Appreciate yourself. Be confident. Be bold. And know that life is precious. Life is the ultimate. As long as you are alive, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. Just hold on to the word of God. Hold on, trust in Him. Have faith in Him. At the very right time, He would cause His faith, save His faith to shine on you. Remember, once you have prayed about it, leave it all to Him. We want the things that we want, but God is not going to give it to us at the time that we want it. He would bring it to us at the right time at his right time enjoy yourself take care of yourself enjoy what you enjoy doing find time be by yourself spend time with god know yourself know that marriage it's a lifetime commitment prepare yourself now that you're single is a time for you to prepare yourself mentally physically spiritually for the marriage life ahead Remember that once you get married, you're never going to go back to being single. You will not do the things that you were doing while you were single. So this is a time that you must as well spend, enjoy being a single lady, do the things that a single lady would do. Not the negative things, but the positive things. Because once marriage comes, the kids start coming, you would sit and reflect and wish that you had enjoyed your single ladies this so ladies this is my single ladies tag if you see that you're interested go ahead and do this tag let's have fun thanks for watching see you again bye